Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul for you and found some new, fun, interesting things that I wanna share. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Guys, I'm gonna show you what was in my thumbnail. I have never seen Dollar Tree do something like this. They are, by Crafter Square, they're the yarn storage containers. How cool is that? These are not very big. I did get two. I figured one for me and one for London because London's really into yarn and, and crocheting, that type of thing right now. So I thought maybe she would enjoy this. So I picked up two. There, you put your little ball of yarn in here. Your yarn would come out the top and you can actually like store it that way, wrap the end of your yarn around. There's two little nibs here. You know, or when you're crocheting, you could put your ball of yarn in here and then the ball's not gonna run all over the floor whenever you're actually using it. They're not very big. There's no way you would fit a full skein of yarn in here. Maybe one of the, the skeins from the Dollar Tree that size, but I thought these were really cool. So I did go ahead and pick up two. All kind of new crafting stuff out there. I love it. So let's see, which way should I go? Let's get the food stuff out of the way. A little boring item, but we love it. It is the Old Orchard Healthy Balance Apple Cranberry. This is one that we don't see often in our stores, but we love it. So when we saw it, we went ahead and picked one up. It is a 64 fluid ounce, half a gallon, and there's one gram of sugar in here. We love these juices. They are very good. I think I've said it before. The only one that we didn't like in all these years was the apple cider. We like the apple juice. We did not like the apple cider, and I didn't see it at all this whole season, fall, winter season. Haven't seen it at all. And if you guys have, please comment below. And if you've tried it recently, what are your thoughts on it? but I haven't seen it. But this one is very good. And like I said, we don't see it that often. So when it was there, we picked one up. And don't mind the lighting, guys. The sun keeps coming in and out of clouds and it is what it is. And then at the checkout, they had these mints. So I thought I'd go ahead and pick them up to try. They're in a nice little tin. You could reuse this tin for other things, put bobby pins or regular straight pins, safety pins, just all types of things that you could put in here. Make a little tiny um, first aid kit out of this tin to keep in your purse. Put some Band-Aids and you know Neosporin, that type of thing. So I, that's why I picked these up. And this one is Peppermint by Big Sky. They're sugar-free mints. And let's see if I can see what the, what the sweetener is in this. It is sucralose, good, that's not stevia. Stevia doesn't work well with me, guys, and it's me. It's not the stevia that gives me very bad cramping, pain in my stomach when I have stevia. But I just thought these would be good just to give them a try. And like I said, these are peppermint. And then they had cotton candy. And the cotton candy is also sugar-free. And it is a 1.76 ounce package of them. These were the only two flavors that I saw. So I don't know if there are other flavors out there or not, but it does say they're made in Canada. Nice, by Big Sky, Toronto. So if you guys have tried these, please let me know your thoughts on them. I like having mints in my purse, so that's where those are gonna go, at least one pack of them for now. And then I did buy one item from the plus section, and it was this guy. It was $3 and it is a foaming hand soap dispenser. I just thought he was so cute. They did have others and honestly, I can't remember what they were. Maybe one was an Easter egg and I can't remember what the other one was, but we got the bunny and it has a silver pump top. He is like ceramic. The top feels glass, like it's um plastic, but he is ceramic. Nice size too, nice size dispenser. This will go by my kitchen sink. I will not put this in the bathroom because I'd be afraid that the littlest grand lady would knock him off the ceramic off the bathroom sink. So this will go by our kitchen sink where she can't reach. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and find some foaming hand soap. I have that tree scented one. So maybe I'll try putting that in here. 
or look up a recipe to make my own foaming hand soap. I thought he was super cute. So many nice things in the plus section right now, guys. Oh my goodness. I need to stay away from that area. And then where they have all the Valentine stuff, they had these cute little stuffies and these are called Fuzzy Friends and you get two pieces and they are wrapped together. And this one is bacon and a star-shaped egg. I thought that was so cute. So I thought these would be really nice just to put into the kids um either Valentine goodie bag or in the um in their Easter basket. This one is adorable. It's a burger and fries. And it says fries on the bottom of that one. And then they had this one, which I absolutely love. It's peanut butter and jelly. How cute is that? I love that. And they also have like a, a iced coffee latte type drink on this one and a donut. There's a long string hanging on the donut. How cute is that? And they all have faces. This one is probably hard to see, but there is a face on here. It's winking. I thought these are just fun and cute. Just make somebody smile. And if you have a best friend, you can keep one and give one to your best friend. I think they're adorable. They're very soft. They're not very big. They're, you know, just a cute size little stuffy. I may keep this one for myself. And you can always separate them and just give, you know, give one. They're adorable. And to go with the Valentine stuff, they had these nice bags. So I did pick up two packs. I have five grandkids. There's three in a pack, so I have to get two. This one is white with the hearts, and it says, oh, they're all different. I just realized that. They're all different. This one is Be Mine Valentine, and it says Happy Valentine's Day with balloons. This one is just all the different pink hearts, and this one is like X's and O's, but they're all white with reds and pink background with the pink and white, the twisty jute, hard jute handles. And then this one is more like a, a traditional lunch bag color of the tan. This one says You and Me. Oh, this one is Cupid. And then this one is, it says Valentine on it. And this is the tan with the red and white and the same tan with the red. They're like a harder, firmer jute. So I picked up two of these. I don't go overboard, you know, really overboard for the kids for Valentine's Day. Just a cute little baggie of stuff. And then in the Valentine, they had this. It's a door banner. It's 59 inches long by 11 inches wide. And if you can see, this is the picture of it. There were several different to choose from, and I liked this the best. And it says, Hello Valentine, written down it. I am gonna take it out so you can see. 59 inches long. So let's go ahead and see what this is about. There are two like grommet holes there. Wow. Let me scooch back, guys. It is long. So these must be just for you to kind of put it on hooks if you would want. But on the top, there is a hard, um, some type of hard dial through there with a hang cord. I can't even show you the whole thing, guys. It is that long. And it's made out of that, like, that thinner vinyl-y type stuff that they have at the Dollar Tree for their outside flags and things. Very nice. I have a piece of wall space that this is going to be perfect in. That it won't this won't go outside or anything for me. It'll it'll hang here in the house. I don't decorate much for Valentine's Day, do you? I just don't. I I put up a few things and that's about it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then in like the healthcare section, they had these and I picked up one. I thought this would be really nice to have on hand. They have a spray of hydrogen peroxide. I already picked it up. This time they have the 70% isopropyl alcohol. So I thought that would be nice just to have in the medicine cabinet. And it says American Red Cross on there. Always ready. And it's a 2.5 ounce 
isopropyl al alcohol. I've got one of them. I like that. I like it that it, it's just a spray like that. And then in the kitchen area where they have all their big utensils and all of that, slotted spoons and everything, they had these. And I don't remember ever seeing these shears before. They're kitchen shears, heavier weight. They're seven and a half inch stainless steel blades, dishwasher, dishwasher safe. And it has all the little things in here as well. Like it has, it looks like a can opener. I'm not quite sure what do you use these for? What do you use that for? Maybe taking a bottle cap off or something? I don't know. Chopping something. But these are heavy duty. There's some weight to these. So these are going to get cleaned up and be put in my kitchen drawer to use. I'm always using scissors in the kitchen. You know, different shears for things like cleaning meat, cutting meat, vegetables, whatever. So these look like they would be very nice. And stainless steel blades. That's awesome. So if you guys have tried these, let me know how they work. Do they last long? Very nice. And then also in the, um, right when you walked in the door, they had all kind of dishes, newer dishes coming out for the season. They had real pretty gray and white. I think they were kind of plaid. And then they had a, a blue plaid with white. And I needed some new placemats for in our in the kitchen on the island and I thought these would be nice for now in the still winter you know we we still have plenty of time for lots of snow and I like blues and whites like this time of the year and I don't know why but I do it just reminds me of like a snowy day so I picked up four of these for on our island and they're the fabric you can we'll throw these in the washer and they wash up very well too guys these are 100% polyester by the home collection 12 inch by 18 inch and you can also make pillows out of them if you would want. Just open up the seam along the upper edge, and these are like double, and just throw in the stuffing. And stow it, you know, hand sew it back up or hot glue it back up and make a really pretty throw pillow. I've done that many, many times, made throw pillows out of different pillowcases from the Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and picked up four, whoops. I went back and forth because my kitchen is like whites and grays and blacks, but I wanted I wanted a little bit of color. So I got the navy and white. Super nice. Dollar Tree just makes me so happy. Things are different every time you go in there. You just never know what you're gonna find, what's gonna be on the shelf. It's always new and exciting and brand new. And that's what I love about the Dollar Tree. I like the quick changeover like that. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away, move along with my day. I hope you're all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.